Hi, this is Adam. If you're watching this video, then you probably read the article that I wrote as a contributor for Mother Earth News. Welcome. This is the beginning of a straw bale mock-up right behind me. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. In order to pull this off and make it seem to us like we're actually building a straw bale house, we need to do everything that we would do out on site. A project starts with a set of plans, and we wanted to build this thing exactly how it was drawn. You'll notice throughout this mock-up that we use materials that we had around our barn. So this should be a treated plate. We fastened the sill boards and drilled holes in the concrete to secure our rebar pins. We even installed gravel between our boards. Using a chainsaw, we cut out for the corners and the windows. One by one, we installed the bales to see how it would go. We've never done this before, so this is a new experience. Bob and I thought the process was going quite well, but then we discovered something that threw a wrench in our gears. Bob mentioned that he thought the straw bales were kind of loose, so we opened up the code book to the section on density. The code book mentions that the straw bales have to be of a certain density. That would mean that the size of the bale, the moisture content of the bale, and the weight of the bale have to be all computed together, and it gives you a number. And that number was too low. We tested several bales, and the average number we came up with was still too low, at about 4.48. Code requires it to be 6.5. Houston, we have a problem. One of the things we wanted to discover while doing a mock-up here in a kind of a controlled environment was to catch any red flags or problems before we got on site to build because it gets really expensive when you're on site. What we noticed as we start stacking this is that our bale density does not meet code. So we're off to a local town where I know there's another supply of straw because this came from a different spot and we're going to check that bale density before we go any further because if we can't get the right density, then the straw bale house is a no-go. You just checked with somebody that you know that does a lot of hay and straw. It seems our straw bales that I grabbed for this mock-up are not as tight as they normally are. No, they said that, uh, my cousin says that you can get straw bales way tighter than that, that you almost need wire to tie them. He says the straw, the balers will over overpack the straw and actually the, uh, the twine won't even be able to hold the bale together. Well, maybe this other place we're going to go to has what we need. Let's go. Perfect. Hey, we hit our exit. It's only been nine hours. No, it's pretty close. This is where we get, or used to get hay for our farm and the small bales before we started getting the large bale hay. Because now we have a tractor. Uh, it's just up here. Let's go see what this, I call her the hay lady, Lori, has for us with the straw bales. Bob's telling me that the people he knows will say you can stand on the straw bale and it doesn't move normally. Where the stuff we got from this feed store is pretty soft, selling us air. Stay tuned, it's right up here. <laughs> straw for sale. Well, there's some straw. Very interesting. That's a lot of straw. So we're lifting the bales. They feel kind of like the same weight of what we have. But I see a couple tight ones up there. And just like the old Adam, I'm going to scale this and try to knock one of those down without getting hurt. Maybe. Maybe. I wonder how I can get to that one. That one... There you go. Okay. We selected several bales that we thought would be dense enough, but after we tested them, we found out that their density was exactly the same as what we had bought from the feed store. If we look at bale weight when it's baled, there's probably coming through the balers at 40 or so pounds, and then as it sits in stores and it dries out, that's why we're seeing that these bales are down around 26 pounds. In about 14% moisture 
Am I right on thinking that? Well, it depends on the field where you're at. If it's sunny, you're going to have lighter straw. Right. In the shade, you're going to have a heavier bale. But, you know, it all really depends on the field. And, yeah, so the plant will grow a little different being in yep. the shade, too. Yep. So, straw bale is definitely not a cookie cutter product. <laughs> it's unique to the field that it's in and who's baling it. Correct. There's not a lot of people that do square bales where we could have them make us tight enough bales. That I know of, I know since I've been selling straw this year, I guess I'm one of the least persons that have square all around bale this year. So finding it is going to be very difficult. Yep. Okay, that's what we came to find out. We want to do this mock-up of a straw bale house and figure out the issues before we start. Thanks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And we'll be in touch with you, and hopefully we find something. Otherwise, we'll see you again when we need hay for our animals. All right. Maybe some straw, too. Thanks. You're welcome. We started this mock-up of a straw bale wall system with the idea that what we would find out would either give us a yes or a no without a maybe. And after visiting the hay lady, Lori, this is heading towards a no. I don't know if we can get a straw bale that is as dense as what the code requires us to have for whatever reason. You can uh, come up with your own ideas about that. Maybe that's not even possible. But it sure is fun. Let's see what we can do. We headed back to the farm to finish our mock-up straw bale wall. Even though we couldn't find dense enough bales, we still wanted to see what it was like to build these walls. As of this video, we have had to hit pause on this project. The biggest question that I get right now is why would somebody want to build a straw bale house? And if this were 1862, right around the time of the Homestead Act, my answer would be a lot different. Check this out. The homesteaders that ended up with land out west, where it was all grass, quickly found out there were no trees to build their houses out of. Throughout history, the answer to why build with any kind of material has always been necessity. In the modern age, answers range from it makes sense to because I can. See what I mean? <laughs>